Hello, I'm Graham Martin with Prudential Northwest Properties and today we're going to be talking about the inspection process of a floating home and the most critical part is the float itself and that inspection is oftentimes referred to as a float or dive survey. With me today is John Glenn of Mainland Diving Service. He has over 30 years experience in doing inspections and working on floating homes. So John, I thought you might explain to the people exactly what your role is as an inspector to check out a floating home and uh, what you look for. Okay. Uh, one of the most important things is how the uh, house is uh, chained up. And we're kind of going to go over how the house is secured to the mortgage walkway today. And so um, behind me is, uh, you can see these uh, chains out here on the logs and this kind of thing. But well, we're going to start out with on the corner of the house. There usually the two corners, the upstream and the downstream side of the uh, house, is, uh, that's where the first chains are attached. And uh, you'll find out that there's a chain that comes over and goes through the second log of the mortgage walkway and back to a pad eye that's mounted on the uh, house float, uh, one of the largest logs on the outside. Uh, here we are again, and here's a steel standoff with a rubber pad, and then you have a steel plate against the stringers on the house float, and then you have the uh, uh, chain tie up from the mortgage walkway second log over to a uh, uh, pad eye on the house which secures this end of the house. I'm standing on the mortgage walkway. Here's the house float and as you can see down in here this is a, a chain and there's a pad eye on the mortgage walkway and it goes over and it spreads out and goes to the house. There's two of these. There's one here and one underneath the step of the house floor. These two chains are the anti-sway chain in the center of the house. They keep it from sliding upstream and or downstream centering the house at all times. This is the way most houseboats or the floats should be attached to a mortgage walkway with a log and timber construction as we have it right now. If it was a cement situation, then you'd be talking pad eyes with anchor bolts and that kind of thing.